Mindfulness, a key Buddhist habit, holds the power to transform your life positively. It involves being fully present in the current moment, aware of your thoughts, feelings, and surroundings without judgment. This practice might seem simple, yet its impact on success and happiness is profound. In our fast-paced lives filled with constant distractions, cultivating mindfulness becomes a beacon of tranquility. It allows us to break free from the chains of anxiety about the future or regrets from the past. Instead, we focus on the now, appreciating the richness of each moment. This heightened awareness sharpens our mental acuity, enhancing decision-making and problem-solving skills. Moreover, mindfulness fosters a deep connection with ourselves and those around us. By being fully present in conversations, we build stronger relationships, fostering trust and understanding. This habit aligns with Buddhist teachings of compassion and interconnectedness, contributing to a harmonious and successful life. Beyond interpersonal benefits, mindfulness also nurtures our emotional well-being. It provides a sanctuary from the stressors of daily life, creating mental space to navigate challenges with resilience. As we observe our thoughts without attachment or judgment, we unlock a profound sense of inner peace. Practicing mindfulness need not be complicated. Simple exercises like focusing on your breath or paying attention to the sensations of eating can anchor you in the present. Consistency is key. Incorporating brief moments of mindfulness throughout your day gradually solidifies this habit, turning it into a natural part of your being. In the pursuit of success and happiness, the foundational role of mindfulness cannot be overstated. It's a guiding light that aligns with Buddhist principles, fostering clarity, compassion, and contentment. So, as you embark on this journey, remember that each mindful breath brings you closer to a life filled with purpose, joy, and fulfillment. Compassion, a fundamental Buddhist habit, is like a gentle force that has the power to transform not only our individual lives, but the world around us. It goes beyond mere sympathy, it's an active expression of kindness and understanding towards ourselves and others. In a world often dominated by competition and individualism, cultivating compassion becomes a beacon of light. It's about recognizing the shared human experience, acknowledging that everyone, just like us, seeks happiness and freedom from suffering. This understanding bridges gaps and fosters a sense of unity laying the foundation for success and happiness. When we embrace compassion, our relationships take on a new dimension. It's not just about tolerance, it's about genuinely caring for the well-being of those around us. This empathetic connection creates a positive ripple effect, strengthening the bonds of trust and cooperation. In the professional realm, compassion becomes a catalyst for effective teamwork and leadership propelling us towards shared goals. Moreover, compassion is a powerful antidote to the stress and challenges life throws our way. As we extend kindness to ourselves and others, we create a supportive environment that nurtures resilience. This, in turn, contributes to our overall well-being, unlocking the door to a successful and fulfilling life. Practicing compassion doesn't demand grand gestures, it starts with small acts of kindness in our everyday interactions. It's about actively listening, offering a helping hand, or simply showing understanding. These seemingly small acts, when done consistently, create a ripple effect that can shape a more compassionate and harmonious world. In the grand tapestry of life, compassion is the thread that weaves through our shared humanity. It's a guiding principle that aligns with the core teachings of Buddhism reminding us that success and happiness are not solitary pursuits, but collective achievements. So as we embark on this journey of compassion, let's remember that each kind word and gesture has the power to create a brighter, more compassionate world for all. Gratitude, a powerful force embedded in Buddhist teachings, is like a gentle breeze that transforms the landscape of our lives. It's not merely a polite thank you, it's a profound acknowledgement of the abundant gifts that surround us each day. 
In the hustle and bustle of our daily routines, it's easy to overlook the simple yet profound moments that enrich our lives. Gratitude invites us to pause and appreciate the beauty in both the extraordinary and the mundane. It's a lens through which we can view life, recognizing that even in challenging moments, there are lessons and opportunities for growth. When we embrace gratitude, we shift our focus from what is lacking to what is abundant. This shift in perspective has a transformative impact on our mental well-being. It acts as a shield against negativity, fostering a positive mindset that attracts success and happiness. Gratitude is not about denying challenges, but acknowledging that even amidst difficulties, there are reasons to be grateful. Moreover, gratitude is a powerful connector. It deepens our relationships as we express appreciation for the people who enrich our lives. This habit of recognizing and valuing the contributions of others strengthens the fabric of our social connections, creating a supportive network that propels us forward in our personal and professional pursuits. Practicing gratitude doesn't demand grand gestures. It starts with simple acts of appreciation in our everyday lives. From the warmth of the sun on our faces to the kindness of a friend, each moment becomes an opportunity to express gratitude. Over time, this intentional practice becomes a cornerstone of our approach to life. In the tapestry of Buddhist teachings, gratitude is a thread that weaves through the fabric of a purposeful and joyful existence. It's a guiding principle that reminds us that success and happiness are not solitary pursuits but collective achievements. So as we embark on this journey of gratitude, let's remember that each expression of thanks, no matter how small, has the power to illuminate our path towards a more fulfilled and enriched life. Non-attachment, a profound principle rooted in Buddhist philosophy, is akin to navigating life with an open palm rather than a clenched fist. It's not about detachment from the world, but cultivating a mindset that transcends clinging to things, ideas, and outcomes. In a world often fixated on possession and achievement, the concept of non-attachment might seem counterintuitive. However, it is a cornerstone of Buddhist wisdom, teaching us that true happiness lies not in accumulating more but in letting go. Non-attachment doesn't imply indifference, rather, it encourages us to appreciate the impermanence of all things. When we embrace non-attachment, we liberate ourselves from the chains of desire and craving. This doesn't mean abandoning ambition or goals. Instead, it invites us to approach them with a sense of openness and flexibility. The pursuit of success becomes a journey rather than a fixed destination, allowing us to adapt and grow along the way. Moreover, non-attachment fosters resilience in the face of life's inevitable changes. It's an acknowledgement that everything is in a constant state of flux. By letting go of rigid expectations, we open ourselves to the flow of life, navigating its twists and turns with grace and acceptance. Practicing non-attachment doesn't require a complete overhaul of our lives. It starts with a mindful awareness of our attachments and the willingness to loosen their grip. It's about finding joy in the present moment without fixating on what might come or go. In the tapestry of Buddhist teachings, non-attachment is a thread that weaves through the fabric of a liberated life. As we explore this habit, let's remember that it's not a call to renounce the world, but an invitation to engage with it more fully. Appreciating the beauty of each experience without getting entangled in its transient nature allows us to move through life with greater ease and serenity. So, as we embrace the concept of non-attachment, Let's free ourselves from unnecessary burdens, allowing the winds of change to carry us towards a more serene and fulfilling existence. Right speech, a fundamental aspect of Buddhist teachings, is the art of mindful and compassionate communication. It's not just about the words we use, but also the intention behind them and their impact on ourselves and others. In a world saturated with words, the power of speech is often underestimated Right speech encourages us to express ourselves truthfully, yet with kindness and empathy. It discourages gossip, harsh language, and divisive speech. Recognizing the profound influence our words have on relationships and the overall social environment, when we align our speech with the principles of right speech, we create an atmosphere of trust and understanding, 
It's about fostering genuine connections with others by choosing words that uplift and inspire. Honest communication becomes a bridge connecting individuals, promoting unity and harmony. Moreover, right speech is not only about what we say, but also about when to remain silent. It invites us to pause and reflect before speaking impulsively, preventing unnecessary conflicts and misunderstandings. This mindful approach to communication enhances the quality of our relationships and contributes to a more positive and supportive social environment. Practicing right speech requires a commitment to cultivating a speech that is not only truthful, but also beneficial and timely. It involves choosing words that are constructive and promote understanding, even in challenging situations. It's about expressing ourselves authentically while considering the feelings and perspectives of others. In the broader context of Buddhist teachings, right speech is a thread that weaves through the fabric of ethical living. As we embrace this habit, let's remember that our words hold the power to shape our reality and the world around us. By choosing right speech, we contribute to our own well-being and create a ripple effect of positive communication that resonates far beyond our immediate interactions. So, as we navigate the intricate tapestry of communication, let our words be a source of inspiration, unity, and joy in the fabric of our lives. Discipline and diligence are the dynamic duo that propels us towards success and fulfillment. Discipline provides the roadmap, setting clear intentions and guiding our actions. It's the structure that turns aspirations into tangible goals. Diligence, on the other hand, is the unwavering commitment to putting in the necessary work consistently. It's the fuel that keeps us moving forward step by step toward our objectives. Together, discipline and diligence form the backbone of personal and professional growth. Discipline it creates a framework and diligence ensures that each step is taken with purpose and dedication. The disciplined mind stays focused, while diligence ensures that effort is invested consistently over time. In the journey of life, obstacles are inevitable, and this is where discipline and diligence shine. They foster resilience, turning setbacks into opportunities for learning and growth. Instead of being deterred by challenges, the disciplined and diligent mind views them as stepping stones toward success. Incorporating discipline and diligence into our daily lives isn't about rigid control, but rather a focused and consistent effort toward our goals. It's about finding a balance that allows us to pursue our ambitions with passion and enthusiasm. By embracing discipline and diligence, we not only unlock our potential, but also create a path that leads to a more purposeful and fulfilling life. Patience, a timeless virtue, is the silent architect of a fulfilled and purposeful life. It's not just about waiting. It's a profound understanding that everything unfolds in its own time. In a world that rushes, patience is the antidote to stress and frustration. Cultivating patience is like tending to a garden. It requires nurturing and attention. Patience isn't passive. It's an active choice to trust the natural rhythm of life. By embracing patience, we find joy in the journey, appreciating each step without fixating on the destination. Life is a series of ebbs and flows, and patience provides the stability to navigate these changes with grace. It's the calm in the midst of storms, allowing us to endure difficulties with resilience. Patience transforms setbacks into opportunities for growth, teaching us that progress unfolds gradually. Practicing patience doesn't mean complacency. It's about maintaining a positive attitude while persistently working toward our goals. It's an acknowledgement that the seeds we plant today may take time to bloom, but with patience, they will blossom into the desired outcomes. In the grand tapestry of life, patience is a thread that weaves through the fabric of ethical living it's not a passive resignation, but an active choice to trust in the unfolding of our lives. So, let patience be our guiding light, illuminating the path toward a more serene and fulfilling existence. Self-reflection, a transformative practice, is the compass that guides us toward self-awareness and personal growth. It's not about judgment, but a compassionate exploration of our thoughts, feelings, and actions. 
In the fast-paced rhythm of our lives, self-reflection might seem like a luxury. However, it's a powerful tool that unveils the layers of our inner selves. By looking inward, we gain clarity on our values, aspirations, and areas for improvement. Self-reflection is the gateway to emotional intelligence. It's about understanding our emotions without being consumed by them, fostering empathy and enhancing our relationships. This practice not only enriches our connections with others, but also contributes to our overall well-being. Moreover, self-reflection is the cornerstone of personal growth. By acknowledging our strengths and weaknesses, we pave the way for continuous improvement. It's a conscious effort to learn from our experiences, extracting lessons that contribute to our evolution as individuals. In the tapestry of life, self-reflection is a thread that weaves through the fabric of a purposeful existence. It's not a solitary pursuit, but a path to interconnectedness. As we delve into our own depths, we cultivate a deeper understanding of others, fostering compassion and unity. Practicing self-reflection is accessible to everyone. It starts with carving out moments in our day for quiet introspection. It's about asking ourselves meaningful questions, embracing vulnerability, and being open to the insights that arise. Let self-reflection be the gentle guide that leads us toward a more conscious and fulfilling existence.